Can a Dollar Tree haul be emotional? I didn't think so, but this one, maybe. Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, hello. My name is Amanda. This is The Porch Swing and we do all kinds of Dollar Tree hauls and crafting videos and crafting business videos and all kinds of things and all kinds of things. We're currently building a house, have a series on that. So anyway, we are glad to have you. Okay guys, I love it. This one's got me all kinds of feels, all kinds of feels guys. So my son is graduating. <laughs> so if you have a senior out there um, in the year 2020, you know exactly what I'm feeling, you know. Um, prom is canceled, um, graduation's still up in the air. In fact, as of filming this, I'm not sure when it'll be uploaded, but as of filming this, graduation is set for tomorrow, the original date. And this is not going to happen. So uh, it just has me um all kinds of emotions guys and I, I know this you guys too so there's that on top of that um our oldest connor is um wanting to join the army so i mean we're, we're trying to put off that um a few weeks um just because he hasn't signed uh, his papers or anything yet so we know it's kind of a few week process anyway but he wanted to have like a going away like graduation party kind of thing with his friends and his family and everything before he ships off to basic and with everything being kind of shut down we just don't know when like that's going to be able to happen like that you know that's kind of the the issue and now our state in Missouri is opening back up um in phases so um so things are starting to be open and so we think that maybe in this summer like maybe um maybe sometime in june i don't know like we're just gonna have to play it by ear i really don't know we're hoping that maybe we can have some kind of small family gathering maybe in june but again that could change that could change so anyway so with all that being said, we don't know when we're having a graduation or a graduation party or a going away party um, for him to go to the military. We don't need any of that. But what I do know <laughs> is that the Dollar Tree ha has their graduation stuff out and they won't have it w by, by that time, right? So I had to pick up all, it's really like hard like picking it all up when you just don't know when you're gonna get to use it. It was, it was just a little hard. But that being said, I have lots of fun things for graduation and some things for um, his like going away party. So let's just jump in and show you what I got. The first thing I got was this patriotic banner. It's been kind of in the uh, bag, so it's kind of all wrinkly or whatever. But I thought this would be cute. Um, but one, um, our school colors are red, white, and blue. It's kind of an Americana themed. Um, so this will be great for graduation, but it also be great for, um, for his going away party. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do is kind of theme graduation things along with like Americana themes, which is great because they've got a lot of Americana theme stuff coming out for Memorial Day and, um, uh, 4th of July and things like that. So that is good. They had a bunch of, uh, napkins and plates. I don't think I got any plates. I think I just got the napkins because I figured we'll have a barbecue and just have burger plates or whatever. But I did get, um, some 2020 napkins with the little thing there. And these are some hanging decorations. How cute are they? They are just so cute. And it comes with three of them. And as you can tell, these are like in no particular order. So some things are gonna be more graduation themed and some things are gonna be more um, going away themed. What we kind of think is um, we moved a few years ago, we moved like halfway across the state um, my to take my husband, for my husband to take a uh, job as a police chief somewhere. So um, we moved, that was about six, seven years ago. So we will probably have like more of a graduation party back home and then have, but it'll be kind of a combination, graduation going away party, and then kind of the same thing, but more focused on going away um, here at our house with his like local friends and things like that. So there'll be actually two parties that we'll have, I'll reuse the decorations and they'll be themed closely the same, a little bit different. So these, oh my gosh, these little army soldiers. I picked up these a couple reasons. One, I think they'll be cute for decorations for his party. But also I saw on, I think Pinterest or something, I think it was on a craft 
fair kind of thing or whatever. They had like a little basket of these and a sign that said, um, you know, take a take an army man and um, place it on your shelf. And anytime you see it, pray for, you know, your soldiers. And I just thought it was really sweet. So um, that is definitely something I'm going to be adding to my craft booths and things like that. Oh, just... I'm super proud, but I am like, you know, the just the emotions, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just all of the emotions and graduating and, and the army and, and, you know, scared. We're, we're no, like, like I said, my husband's a police chief. We're used to, we're used to your husband being in danger, but it's different when it's your children and oh, man, man. Anyway, pray for your soldiers. Smart man. All right, moving on. Okay, these are some swirl decorations. They are so cute, guys. And they have like a little bit of glitter on them. Not too much because Connor would be like, Mom. <laughs> but those are gifts. Yep, and they um, they do have three as well. And they hang down. I thought that would be super cute. Um, this is a tablecloth. It's hard to see, but it says hats off to you. Can you see that? I thought that'd be really, really neat. This is a wall mural. It looks like maybe it goes like on a door. I don't know what the measurements are. Oh, 72 by 42 inches. So that's probably bigger than a door. <laughs> what, what size is a door? We're building a house. I should know that, right? But anyway, it's probably bigger. Um, but yeah, that is, that is super, super cute. So it says congrats to 2020 grad. Yeah, so I thought that would be good. I picked up a lot of just um, patriotic things. This is a wind sock, and it says, I picked up two, a couple things with this, this design because I loved it. It says, Home of the Brave. How, how stinking cute is that, right? And it has like, I don't know if you can see, see, like it almost has like that wooden, like looking background. I mean, it's not a wind sock, but you, you know, like, I, I wish I could find like several. I think I bought this and this and a flag, I think. I don't know. I If you see anything else with that design, guys, let me know because I love it. I love it. I love it. So, uh, you know what I should have done? I should have taken out the pic. I should have put his picture in it so you guys could see. I should have done that. Hmm. Anyway, this is like to hold his tassel and a picture. Yeah, I mean, I think I gave like, I think Justin's or was it Justin's or... Whatever company was doing the graduation pictures and stuff, like, they had some, and it was expensive. So, yeah, that was a great deal. I picked up this plastic banner. Guys, all of this stuff is such a good deal. Like, such a good deal. I, I am, I'm just loving it. I picked up this beach ball. It is, um, it says the future is here, class of 2020. How cute is that? I picked up some just some three pack of these American flags. I thought these would be cute to stick in like centerpieces or something. I don't know. I can never have too many American flags. So I picked up this really nice card. They didn't have a whole lot of cards when I went and um, so try not to get emotional in the store and everything. So anyway, it just says graduate, graduate, you make this look good. He'll like that. And on the end it says, may this be the beginning of a wonderful future. Happy graduation. Guys, mama is, <sighs> mama is so proud and just, he's such a good kid. And uh, I don't know how we got so lucky to raise such a, a good guy. He's, he really is. Okay, so. <sighs> Gain my composure here. Don't cry at a Dollar Tree haul. It's just everything is. Okay, so these bags are super cute. Super, super duper cute. And so they say 2020 and have these little glitter things. And I picked up a couple of those. Um, maybe for gifts for him, but maybe some gifts for, for other people too. Or just decorations. Knock on things off. I picked up this. Oh my gosh, is this just not the cutest thing? 
guys, I love it. And of course it is a tag. And of course you could like, what I like to do with these kind of things is make them reversible. So you could do a different holiday or something back here. But oh my gosh, it has these like metal stars. It's like a dollar guys, a dollar. It is a good size. It gets my head of, I don't know, but it's a good size. I love, I love, love that, love that. I seen a lot of people hauling the mason jar. I haven't found it, so. But I, I will say, I haven't found it, but I've only been to the Dollar Tree like twice, um, like every other week or so, because I, I just go when I need things. So I just still, even though we're opening back up, and we really haven't had hardly any cases in our area, I think 10 in our county, or maybe just nine. But anyway, so, and that was mostly in a bigger area or whatever, but, uh, yeah, we, I still just have just avoided, you know, I work in a medical facility. I am back to work. Um, I don't know if, if you see my video where I got laid off, um, I work as a caseworker, so I, I am back to work. Um, I was laid off for three weeks, but back to work, but I work at a medical facility. And so I just, I, you know, we just only go out when we have to. So I have not been able to go as often as I would like, especially to pick up this kind of thing. So I try to just get as much stuff, um, and what I could when I was there. Moving on. Okay, so I did open these. These were some cutouts. These are so cute. We are having, like I said, tomorrow is the graduation, um, the original graduation day. We are having a graduation day parade. Um, so that's going to be good um, where they're basically going to be in a car and you can sit in your cars and honk and wave and all, all of that. Um, and so we need to uh, like decorate his car, which we may, he may just ride in the, in the police car, which might be kind of, kind of cute. Um, but either way, we are going to be decorating some things for that tomorrow. I, I don't know when this video is going to come up, but, um, tomorrow is also, um, uh, Mother's Day. So. Mother's Day is hard for me, guys. It was the last day I ever spoke to my mom. Um, I actually ended up signing papers to put her on life support um, or a ventilator. Um, yeah, so she's been gone um, nine years now. And so, uh, just, like, the last day I spoke to her was Mother's Day. You know, she came in. The, it was just... It was just Anyway, she never recovered, and she was, I think she was on the middle of for like 17 days before her heart quit, and it just, ah, uh, it's agonizing. So Mother's Day is just not the best holiday for me anyway, and this was the first year in nine years that I was looking forward to it because my son was graduating, and now, <sighs> keep it together, keep it together. All right, let's move on. Oh, it looks like I did buy some plates. See, this is, it's been a couple weeks since I, since I went. I needed, I wanted to, because I went twice, and so um, I wanted I, to save everything so that I could do one haul for you guys. Um, but anyway, it looks like I did buy some, a few plates. So yeah, those are really cute too. Okay. And I bought two packages of those, because again, we're going to be doing small, I think that there was like 10 or 20 in 12. Somewhere between, right? 12 plates. And so I knew we were going to do like a smaller get together, but I didn't know we were going to have two of them. And also we can always use just like styrofoam plates. Those can be just like dessert plates or something. I did pick, I picked up two of these. I, I dropped the other one, but there's two of these. They are just um, black tablecloths. So I actually had bought them. I think I bought them before I bought a lot of the um, decorations and stuff. And so I thought that if I didn't use it for a tablecloth, which I might, um, I could also use it as a background for something too. So I bought that. I bought red, white, and balloons. Self-explanatory, right? Um, but I thought that they would be good. Again, his school colors are red, white, and blue. And we, it'll be great for the um, army uh, going away party. So I bought that. And then here is that flag that says Home of the Brave. And I have a uh, um, one of those wire flag things or whatever. Let me open it up so you can kind of see it a little bit better. And so I can see it a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, guys. See that? Is that just not? Yes. Okay. And the last couple things I bought were I found these. Oh my gosh, I love these. These metal, metal, um, 
little decoration signs. Oh my gosh, I just love them. I think they'll be great for decorations for the party. They'll be great for decorations for the house for 4th of July or any time of the year because it's patriotic and I love that kind of thing. So yes, I could not, and of course, they're blank on the back, so do something on both sides, you know, more bang for your buck, right? Oh my gosh, guys, these are just, yeah, these make such cute farmhouse signs. Oh, I love, I am loving, loving this. Way to go, good job, Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, so that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for sticking with me through all of this uh, emotional time. I just wanted to let you know that if you are just struggling out there, I know that everything in this world is different. Like this has just definitely changed our world. And so whether you are quarantined or whether you're not, or whether you are working or whether you're laid off or whether you have a graduate or you're just staying home and trying to, you know, take care of your family, whatever your situation is, know that I'm praying for you and I know it's difficult. Um, and I, I love you guys and I hope you guys are safe and well, and I will see you very soon in our next video. Bye guys.